Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so glad that you're here because I'm really looking forward to this video. It's my 22nd birthday vlog and it's an almost lockdown vlog because it still has elements of lockdown in it. But um, it was the day that the restrictions were uh, announced from the December lockdown. So I was able to meet my friends. We were able to meet six people outside. Um, and so that's the restrictions that were then. So I wanted to just make that clear to you guys so that you aren't confused. I'm not outside now meeting people, um, like groups of six or anything like that. So I wanted to just update you guys that this is the December one, uh, when we were allowed outside to meet groups of six. Um, but it's a really fun vlog and I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't and join the family. And yeah, enjoy this video with me. Love you guys. Hey guys, it's my birthday today, it's my 22nd birthday and I thought I would just show you guys some of the things that we have in my house for my birthday which is making it really special. So we have my birthday balloons that say happy birthday Evan and then up here we've got 22 and then we've got love you up there. My mum organised this bouquet and got it from a card shop and it's really nice um, and I've just done my makeup. Oh, I've just... I've just done my makeup because I'm gonna go for lunch now with my friend Jackie. We're gonna go to a restaurant up the high road and it's really fun because I actually didn't realize, it's really fun because I didn't realize that lockdown ended today. I thought it ended tomorrow. And so last night I only realized by looking at restaurants for Saturday to meet my friends that we can actually go to restaurants today. So I'm gonna meet my friend Jackie and we're gonna go for lunch today, which is gonna be really fun. So I've got my sparkly top on and I've got my hair done. My mum crocheted my hair. Um, yeah, my mum crocheted my hair. So she basically crocheted the twists into my hair last night and it looks really nice and it's nice to have new hair for my birthday um, and also my mum just got me some flowers which are very nice they're like lilies and roses um, and then also a really nice card which is so nice and also these earrings are from her as well I put these in um, so yeah so quick update of my birthday um, but I'm running late to go and meet Jackie so I've got to go meet her now but I thought I would update you on what we have for my birthday so far so guys, it is the evening now. Sorry that I didn't update you throughout the day. I went for lunch with my friend Jackie and we went to Zizi's, which was really nice. And it was so funny, or it wasn't funny at the time, but basically we were trying to find a restaurant um, near like where we live to go and like eat out, but we had to sit outside because we're from different households. And I thought that restaurants had like outdoor seating, but the ones that we went to look at, they didn't have outdoor seating. And so we were thinking, uh, where we're we gonna go but ZZ's was open and they had outdoor seating and so it was just a huge miracle like we prayed we prayed that God would show us a place that has outdoor seating and we called ZZ's and they had outdoor seating so it's amazing um, and it's really nice because you go through you wear your mask and you go through ZZ's to their outdoor seating at the back which is nice and then you can take your mask off whereas you know some places they've got like outdoor seating at the front of the shop and it's kind of like by the public and by the street and stuff so it was really nice we went to ZZ's um I can maybe insert some pictures here um but yeah sorry that I didn't get to vlog because I went and spent time with my friend Jackie and it was great we just had our um online zoom meeting uh we have them every other Wednesday we have like an online zoom meeting and then on the other Wednesday we have like our small group with graduates like people starting um work or people who are already working stuff like that we had this midweek church meeting and it was really good because we had a reflection of the year and there were questions like actually I can get them up and show you guys there were questions like what was the best thing of this year for you like of 2020 what has been the biggest thing God has taught you what is something you would love to see happen personally next year what's something you'd love to see a goal for us as a church to be next year and so it's really nice we went into breakout rooms so we got to share like different things that we've um been encouraged by this year and for me I said that I've um been encouraged by the fact that I graduated my mum reminded me because I was kind of stuck of um what kind of thing to share but I graduated this year I got through my dissertation my three essays my four exams which ended up being essays as well throughout um lockdown working from home not having my own study space and I was used to working in the library but I was able to graduate uh, get a 2-1 finish well and complete all of my exams and essays and a dissertation which is amazing and then something else that I shared about was what God has taught me this year and I shared about how God has taught me to rely on him so much more because I think I've learned um, in my final year of university and also this year I'm very reliant on um, I go to people first with my with my struggles and my worries and it's not to say that you shouldn't go to people but 
um, if I'm going through something I would like want to call someone or talk to someone but say like someone doesn't pick up because they're at work or you know someone's on another phone call or something then I can feel like oh I'm stuck in the situation and there's like no one to get me out of it um but what I'm learning is that if I go to God first if I journal I love journaling like writing down how I'm feeling and I just share it with God like how I'm feeling um I love going for prayer walks and just walking outside and just speaking out loud praying to God and I've just felt like when I do that I feel so much more at peace when I go to God first when I read scriptures like in the Psalms where it says um relieve me from the troubles of my heart free me from my anguish God is the only one that can take me out of situations um and I feel like that has really helped me to have peace this year um, and so it's really cool to see and reflect on 2020 and what we've actually learned. Um, really encouraging um, and it was a great chat. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys what my brother um, put in my birthday card this year. It's actually really, really nice. Um, so he gave me my birthday card and then he basically put all these photos inside. I'm vlogging. Do you want to say hi? Your hair. <laughs> He's doing his hair. <laughs> Look how long his hair is. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually super long now. It is. It's like way past my chin. Wow. Daniel put all these photos in my um, birthday card and it's photos of me and him or, oh by the way, Dad was my older brother. Um, but yeah, photos of me and him or photos of us and the family. So we've got photos like this. This was my birthday last year, my 21st birthday, um, by the Christmas tree. So then my brother left these on A4 paper so that I can cut them out and scrapbook them myself. And so I've got all these nice photos of um, us together and it's just really nice memories. Yeah, so we had Caribbean takeaway for dinner tonight. Um, it was really, really nice and there's a really nice Caribbean place that we love that we got for dinner, which was amazing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eva. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. Like a wish. Yay! Happy birthday! Thank you! <laughs> so, this is my birthday cake. I've got a chocolate, chocolate sponge, chocolate ganache, chocolate toppings and nice shiny 22 that matches my balloons which is very nice hey guys so it's the day after my birthday it's the 3rd of december and i just got an amazon parcel um i got an amazon parcel today from someone and i think it's from my auntie suzanne um because she said that i've got a present coming and that'll be here by friday yeah i hope that is yeah i hope that is actually what i think it is <laughs> okay has it got a message Yay! It's from my auntie Suzanne! <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, there's, oh, there's a card inside! Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Let me open it. <laughs> I've never had someone order me something from Amazon before. Like, I've, yeah, I've never had that before, so. This is nice. Oh, hope your birthday is amazing. Thank you, Auntie Sue. And then it says, <laughs> hope your birthday is amazing, just like you. And then it has an Amazon gift card in it. This is so fun. I've never had an Amazon gift card before, especially not one that's an actual like physical card. <laughs> Yay, that's so encouraging. Oh, I'm gonna text her. Thank you so much, Auntie Sue. She's probably not watching, but yeah. I thought I'd share that with you guys. This was really fun. Um, yeah, so grateful for it. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, just a quick update. Sorry about the light, by the way. I'm indoors, the light's on, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. But basically, I've had such an encouraging day. Um, and something that's a huge, 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 like, fun, exciting thing is that my birthday was on Wednesday, and Saturday I had planned to go to lunch with friends and sit outside because the new restrictions allow that. And so that's what I was gonna do. But then on my Instagram, I saw this thing uh, advertised and it's called Pagola London. And it's called a winter at Paddington or Christmas at Paddington, something like that. Um, but basically it's kind of like winter wonderland. I'm so happy about that. But when I found it, it was fully booked for the Saturday for the time that I wanted to go. And um, yeah, it just didn't have what I was looking for, which is really annoying. And um, yeah, but I just, 
figured out I'll just find somewhere else to go but I kept checking it and uh, it was still fully booked and then I emailed them be proactive guys it's the way forward I emailed them and I also um, made a request on the website as well for like a vacancy if a tables cancelled or something like that and they replied to both emails and sent me a link to check the availability again and I checked the availability again this morning and they had one table left they had availability and I was so, so excited about it and so I texted my friends and asked if they were okay with me booking it basically I booked it and it's so exciting because I'm going tomorrow and it's gonna be so fun so I definitely take you guys with me I'll probably use my phone because I probably won't take my camera with me um, but yeah I thought I'd update you guys with that because you're gonna see in the next clip I'm gonna be at this Pergola London winter Paddington thing. It's gonna be really fun and I'm just so excited. I'm looking at the Instagram and it looks great. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'll take you guys along with me tomorrow. Hey everyone, so it's the next day and I've just got ready to go to the winter Christmas at Paddington thing that I told you about yesterday. And I've done my makeup and I really like it. This is my eyeshadow look. I've used the um, Anastasia Soft Glam palette. It's the one that I use and I really like it. And uh, my outfit is really cool. So basically I'm wearing a long sleeve knitted top and then I'm wearing jeans and I'm wearing my Doc Martens which I got for my birthday last year and they're really nice um yeah and I'm glad that I'm wearing them and it just makes my outfit look very very nice and I've got this nice black coat that is my mum's which I'm wearing um and yeah I'm really glad that I got up early we're watching a productivity YouTube video that my mum sent me about doing things the night before to help yourself so I made sure that I went to bed early um, made sure that I set my alarm early and that I didn't watch YouTube last night so I'm really grateful I did that and I had a nice time to get ready this morning so I will see you guys on my phone um, at Pigoria. I don't know why my eyes are watering so much I feel like I'm crying and I'm not um, I'm literally like doing this but I'm on my way to uh, the place now I'm gonna get the train and I'm very excited and I love the way my makeup looks I love my hair and it's so beautiful outside it's so sunny so yeah I'm really excited to go so we're trying to track everyone. Where are we going? <laughs> I'm vlogging this. <laughs> so basically we're trying to find the rest of the girls because Paddington's quite big. <laughs> so I'm with Sandy and we're trying to find the other girls. Sandy's on the phone to Amy. I'm trying to find Maria and Andrea. This is hilarious. <laughs> but it feels so good to be out. Oh my gosh, it feels like good times. <laughs> Good. I got the Chipotle yeah, wings, barbecue burger. These look so good. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Look at it be? It's so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>